How long does the spike protein persist in the body and in which tissues do they persist in? So we have some experimental evidence showing that at least the S1 component of the spike protein can persist in, in tissues, not just even for several weeks to several months, but um, even over a year. And they've been found in brain tissue, they've been found in white blood cells, certain white blood cells, and they've been found in the heart. Uh, of course, spike protein can really accumulate in any of these tissues. And in susceptible individuals, they will cause a problem. That is that just accumulation is not enough. If you can't degrade these proteins and get them out of your body, uh, you won't really uh, be able to recover from long COVID or, or COVID vaccine injury. And um, one thing I will mention here is, is that the traditional uh, viral de um, spike detox uh, supplements that you see online really don't degrade or remove spike proteins from your body. That's not uh, really something that they're able to do.